What's up guys, today I'm gonna to show you how I created this trippy car wheel effect. So here is my raw video clip. And the first thing I'm going to do is copy and paste video clip. So hold down option and click and drag video clip up. Now we need to mask out the car wheel. And for this, we can use the new magnetic mask feature in Final Cut Pro 11. If you don't have this, then you will need to update Final Cut Pro 11 and then click on the part that we want to mask out. But this is obviously a very hard video clip to mask out because it's not a defined object. So what we need to do is hold down option and then click on the parts that we don't want to mask out. Then we can click analyze and Final Cut Pro will track this mask. And if it loses the track on the mask, then just stop it and try and select the points that you want to mask out again and then just click analyze again. With a few adjustments, I've managed to mask out the wheel. Now we just need to click done up here. And if I disable the video clip on the bottom, you should see we're just left with the car wheel here. So now what I'm going to do is go to the middle of the video clip, select the transform tool and line the middle of the wheel up with the center of the anchor point. So over here on the parameters, let's go to anchor point and just move the anchor point so that the wheel is in the center. And then we just need to change the position, input this number up here. And that'll make sure it goes back exactly where it's meant to go. Now we can go to the start of the video clip and add a keyframe on the scale parameter and then go to the end and just scale this down slightly and then copy and paste the video clip and scale this one down, copy and paste it again and scale the top one down. So I'm just copy and pasting and then on the top video clip, I'm just scaling it down bit by bit until we have something that looks like that at the end. So now if I play that back, we get this cool wheel effect. From here, we can select all of these layers, right click, go to new compound clip. And if you wanted to add that boomerang effect, then what I did was added a speed ramp at the start. So hold down shift and press B. And then I added one at the end, hold down shift and press B. And this middle portion, I just sped up by just clicking and dragging this. And you'll see it says fast. Then we can even slow down the end and drag these tabs out so it's nice and smooth. And then we can copy and paste this video clip, right click, add it into a new compound clip, and then go to the speed wheel and just reverse this clip. So now that will play forwards and then reverse back. So now we also have this boomerang effect, which looks pretty cool with the wheel effect. I've added this effect as a preset to the replicator effects pack. So if you have that, you can download it again to get the update and to use it, we just need to go over to the effects tab, go down to replicator effect and add this scale replicator onto that video clip and it will already add the effect to the video. Over in the parameters, we can change how many duplicates there are by changing the points and also how much the scale is affected using this slider here. And then we can also change the center point using the X split amount. And the presets are already pre keyframed. So if I cut this video clip down, then the effect will happen and also go back to the center. So if you wanted a quick effect, quicker effect, you just need to cut the video clip down just like that. I'll leave the link to this preset pack in the description if you wanna go and check it out. Today I'm starting the Black Friday sale so all of the plugin bundles will be 50% off until the end of November. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Subscribe if you liked it and I'll see you in the next one.